what's up square bears it's your girl Chris welcome to my channel this is beauty MC square the focus of this video is to show you guys my updated foundation routine keep in mind you guys you can use whatever products that you guys love what works best for your skin what just looks the best for your overall look really focus on the technique and uh, the placement of everything take everything in small doses and i definitely hope that you guys learn from it without further ado if you guys are ready to see this tutorial keep watching for the rest of the video so moisturizer has been added to my skin and my primer of choice is from becca and this is basically their mattifying primer i love this primer i've used it probably down to the brim so i have to get me some more uh it does control the oilies for me because in the summer months i get a little bit more shiny than i want to not that luminous shine but that nasty oily shine and becca primer definitely takes care of that when it sets on your face though um, and you're going to see it it leaves sort of an ashy cast to the skin because it's literally sucking up all the oil that is on the surface of the skin so yeah that's a no bueno <laughs> now i'm going to use my black opal foundation sticks i absolutely love these foundation sticks they are heavy duty cream based foundations and it's really really easy to work with you can use a little bit you can use a lot and it's very easy to control the first foundation i'm going to use from black opal is called truly trovez and i'm just kind of marking my territory right now we're going heavy glam for this look but you guys can definitely take it in small doses i'm just sort of adding that to the areas of my face that are primarily the central areas of my face and right below the uh, cheekbones and I'm kind of sculpting out all the areas of my skin that I want to remain sort of highlighted. I absolutely love this color from Black Opal Truly Tropez gives me like that yellow base foundation that I love. I love yellow base colors in the center of my face and I like to warm it up with redder tones on the outside of my face. Um, now I am using this concealer from Sonia Kashuk and it's just a tinge lighter than the Truly Tropez and I'm adding that right um, below, right right under my, my eyes because I like to brighten it a little bit. So this is my way of introducing a highlighting concealer to the look and just kind of making it a little bit more subtle. So I am using my fingertips and I'm blending it in with the Truly Tropez. I'm also adding it to the areas where I want a little bit more brightness, a little bit more high glam highlighting. If you guys are not into that thing, you can definitely skip that step. You definitely can be a little bit more conservative with the swiping also. I'm a little heavy handed right now, but it's for you guys' visual pleasure. Now this is Black Walnut from Black Opal, and uh, this is a very beautiful, rich cocoa shade. And as you can see, I'm striping my forehead. I am swiping out my jawbone or jawline, yeah, right under the chin, because we're sculpting out the face and, of course, the cheekbones. I'm gonna use a little bit on my finger to sculpt out the shadows of my nose. And this is pretty much as close to you'll get as close as you'll get to like painting by numbers on your face. It's just a matter of kind of tracing the lines and kind of highlighting the features that are already there. I know it's a little scary right now. It's a little bitty scary. I know, I know, I know. It's a lot, you guys. Um, now we're going to blend it out and I'm using a synthetic uh, cheek blush, cheek brush. Oh my God, you guys. Jeez Louise. And I am blending out the lighter colors first. And I want you guys to kind of pay attention to the direction in which I am blending out and blending in the colors. Just really depending on what part of the face that I'm working with, I'm blending it in the direction, um, in a very specific direction rather. So I'm going upwards um, around the cheek area and the jaw area. I'm going upwards towards my forehead, and you know, in an upward mo motion. Um, around the eye area I'm kind of going downward and around so it just blends better to me it, you know it's softer for the face if you take consideration in how you blend 
after I've blended all the light colors, of course, I am going to blend in the dark colors. And around the cheek area and the overtures of my face, I'm using both swiping and circular motions just so that I can still get the slightest bit of definition that I wanted to achieve with the contour, but I'm softening up those lines so it's not really, really harsh cuts in the face. Um, it's not over dramatic. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why I'm using those two kind of movements. And we're pushing upwards into the forehead again and downward into the jawline as well as the neck area because we want to make sure all that is blended out well. Now I'm using my fingertips again around the nose area. That's a very precise area and um, I don't want it to look too striking and stark and cut. I just wanted to lightly um, contour the nose area. And just using my fingers for the, the final details and smoothing out the cream. Moving on to setting the face with powder, I'm going to start off with my Scorching Sun Duo from NARS. And I'm going to use that yellow based powder to begin setting the areas that I first applied with the Truly Tropez. So I'm using a cosmetic sponge and I'm just using tapping motions to apply that product. We are just making sure that all those areas are set. Even if they're blended out, we're gonna bring those features back out in a more softer way. And I love doing that with a cosmetic wedge sponge as opposed to the Beauty Blender because it does allow to keep those kind of details because it has very sharp and clean edges. Next, I'm gonna use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, I typically use a light base powder over a yellow base powder when it comes to my skin tone and women that's similarly toned like me, uh, rich skin tones. And that's because it's going to help me cancel out any propensity of ashiness that those light powders just do. So when you put it over a, um, a color that's like, that has a little bit more pigment in it, it helps. Around the nose, I'm just gonna use my Cover FX powder and it's a rich brown powder. And I'm taking it onto a fluffy tapered brush and I'm softly defining the contours that I applied around the nose area. And it's just going to set that area and gently diffuse any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna wipe away the excess from the lighter powder and just really smooth out the powder in general just using a large paddle brush and this is a Sonia Kashuk paddle brush that I've had for years. It's both dense and soft and it's amazing. My all over face powder is from Iman Cosmetics. This is in clay three. It is a luminous powder so it does have the slightest twinge of shimmer to it and although I love a relatively matte face I love to incorporate just a small amount of shimmer to the face and it gives uh, the appearance of fresh skin. The same for my contour shade. I'm using a bronzer from CoverGirl and I'm just adding that into the detailing and the contours of my skin using the same paddle brush from Sonia Kasha. Last but not least, I'm going to pick up my setting spray from Motos Cosmetics 10 years younger and spray it all over my face. And once it begins to dry and set, I'm just going to use that same paddle brush and pat it into the skin. And that's going to seal everything together and make sure that your face stays put. I mean, after all that work, do you want it going anywhere? I don't think so. I noticed how really, really weird I looked without my eyebrows applied after all that makeup, so I went ahead and popped them on, girl. Yes, I have plenty and plenty of eyebrow tutorials available here on my channel, so if you guys want to check out and see how I do my eyebrows, you are more than welcome to go ahead and do that. But look at that cut. Look at those definitions, honey. Look at those cheekbones. We're popping it out, and we're looking flawless. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. You see the